video, we'll learn how to make 32 three and a half inch half square triangles out of two 16 inch squares. And this is a good project to use uh, your fat quarters, which are nicely, neatly packaged little uh, pieces of fabric that are 18 by 22. So you won't have much waste with those. You'll just have some yummy scraps left over. So I have a pink and then a pink and red dark here. Uh, this kind of borders on a, a medium to a dark, but my pink is light enough that it's a good enough contrast. So on your half square triangles, you want to have some contrast. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and go to the iron and iron them. And if you're one to starch as well, now's the time to do that. Okay, so here we are all ironed up. I did somewhat of a decent job. And then we are going to start by taking these two fat quarters and cutting them down to 16 inch squares. So I'm just going to go ahead and match up these um, selvages on these two pieces. And I'm going to use the lines on my mat to kind of line those up to get a starting point. So now you're going to have to use the lines on your mat, so don't touch this. Leave that on your straight line and then go over 16 inches. Make sure your ruler is long enough to reach beyond the edge of your fabric so you can see your lines on the table. This is what I have left over. It's about a four to five inch strip. And then now I can create a straight edge on this side and I'm going to take off a little bit here and then measure over 16 inches and then there's your other scraps so that's all the scraps you have left from your fat quarters now I'm going to take the single layer of my light and turn it to the wrong side and we're going to make, make some markings on here with two different types of marking pens. One is just a pencil and the other one is a hopefully a dark pink marker. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, so this is 16 inches. My ruler is eight and a half. So I'm just going to mark over on the eight mark. Now, if you don't have a, a ruler that's this wide, just squarely um, put your 16 inch square within the grid of your mat and use those markings. So these two markings are going to be a different color from the rest of them. So you have one horizontal right through the center at the eight inch mark and one vertical. The rest will be diagonal. So just go from one corner to the next. Yes, showing up kind of purple, so that's good. So we're also going to make some diagonal marks on each of these quadrants going in both directions. There's two in this direction and two in this direction. Okay. So now we're going to do some sewing. So take the right side of your dark fabric Place it with the dark side up and then the right side of your marked piece right side down. So now you're going to want to 
get this on here as best as you can square and take some pins and hold it in place you can use as many pins as you want but I kind of like to go over to the uh, big side of each of these triangles and put one in there but we are going to be sewing all of these diagonal lines not this one not the vertical and horizontal but all of the vert the uh, diagonal lines that we made so you can put those pins right up next to to those lines and it's not going to interfere with any of your sewing Okay, so now I'm going to sew on both sides of the drawn diagonal lines a quarter inch away from that line on this side and on this side on all of my diagonal lines should have three going this way and three going this way. I'll be right back. Okay, so here is our piece all sewn up and my lines are already starting to disappear from where I marked them that was an air pen that I was using through here so that mark was between these two stitch lines so I essentially uh, measured a, a quarter of an inch over from my drawn line over to the stitch line and that's where I stitched so this is our grid for our 32 at once half square triangles I'm going to take these pins out now and the first step after this will be to cut on these two lines that we did in pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with my rotary cutter. You can do it with the scissors too. It's not a big deal either way. So now you have four pieces that you can work with instead of one large piece and then now what we're going to do with these is I'm going to take each one and we're going to cut down the center and you can uh, put this right this should be eight by eight so you can put it right inside of eight of your one inch uh, squares here on your mat and use that line to measure with to cut these and then you can go back the other way on this on the other line horizontal the goal is to not move them so now you have four individual ones and then now you can go on your drawn line which mine is disappearing or you can just measure a quarter inch over from one of your stitched lines to towards the center and cut through there so now you have you would have eight per quadrant so here's two there's my half square triangle but i use the clearly perfect slotted rulers for this and i would put my three and a half inch line on here and then trim them before i actually open them up and i have another video on this that i will put up here on the upper right hand corner for you to go there if you want to learn how to use your clearly perfect slotted clearly perfect slotted trimmer for half square triangles before we continue okay so there that one is ready I can uh, press to the dark side which is very common to do or press it open which is my preferred method usually so in that case that particular half square triangle is done but I also want to show you how to how to square one up 
uh, if you don't have one of these fancy dancy rulers. Now these come in two different sizes. They come in whole sizes and half sizes. So if you don't have that, then I'll show you how to trim up uh, an open half square triangle. So I'm gonna go over to the iron real quick and open this seam and make sure my square is really flat before I trim it. Okay, so here are some of your ruler choices that you have. You may have one that's exactly three and a half. In that case, you would just put your diagonal line that you see here right on that diagonal seam line and trim all the way around. The challenge with that is being able to trim all the way around without moving it. <laughs> but you can also take a slightly bigger ruler and put that line on, on there. This is a four and a half and leave a little, little bit on the edge here. I'm going to do it this way. But make sure you don't go past your, your three and a half on here. So you get that in the center and you make sure at your three and a half you still have some sticking out on the edges. Okay. So you can cut two sides, trim your two sides, and you may not have much, and then turn it around this way and then actually put it on the three and a half inch mark right through here. If you have a much bigger ruler than this, like even a, a very large ruler, you can put some tape down on your three and a half inch right up next to that three and a half inch mark and then you'll be able to see through it easily. So you can see that I have a little bit to trim off on my other two sides now. So the main thing to remember is this line right here and make sure that you're leaving a little bit of waste all the way around. And then once you cut all that waste away you should have an exact three and a half inch square and it looks pretty much like I do. Perfect. So you just continue with that process with your other three just like we just did. Trim them and you will have 32 perfect half square triangles for your project. Stay tuned we'll have more quilting techniques uh, on the channel and thank you for watching. Bye.